Hi friends, thank you so much for clicking this video. My name is Masiel, just in case it's your first time on my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Before I start this video, I really hope you subscribe if this is your first time here. It's a new year and one of my main goals this year is to post at least one video every single week. So that means there's going to be so much content this year and I would love if you guys would join along and see what I have in store. But anyways, you probably clicked this video because you're interested in Juvia's Place and today I will be filming a which palette is best for you. I love Juvia's Place first and foremost, but every time I visit the website it can be overwhelming because just last year Year, they added so many more palettes to the website and if you're like me I fall on a budget I'm very picky about what I spend my money on and maybe you're in the same situation where you might be able to just afford one palette so I'm gonna try and help you decide which palette you should invest in and what I like in each of these palettes I currently own five and so I'm just gonna go into them so first I want to speak about the brand overall I know when Juvia's Place first came to the market there was a lot of controversy about two or three years ago. And personally, I can only speak for myself. I've never had an issue with Juvia's Place. I've never gotten a shattered palette, so I wouldn't know how they would handle that situation. Anytime I have had to speak to customer service, they've been not bad to deal with. And their shipping's pretty fast. I usually get my palettes within a week. Um, as far as their packaging goes, I mean, look how beautiful and colorful and I don't think there's really another brand whose packaging for their eyeshadow palettes are as cute as this. Um, their pigmentation, their eyeshadow formula is one of my favorites. I always recommend it to uh, so many people. And lastly, I think their prices are reasonable and Juvia's Place is always having sales. I'm going to start off with the Nubian palette. I believe this is the palette that first brought attention to the brand overall. I think Nikki Tutorials kind of shined a light on the brand and it made them blow up. And I'm glad it did because, guys, this palette is such... I think this palette pretty much adds value to my collection in the sense that I could use this every single day. So who would I recommend this palette to? I'd recommend it to a beginner for sure because if you're just learning how to use makeup, you have your neutral tones, you have some darker, deeper browns to deepen out the corners of your eyes, you have some shimmerage, you can learn how to do half cut creases, cut creases using this palette. And I also think if you're looking for a perfect neutral and warm tone palette just for every day, you don't like, maybe you don't aren't used to getting creative with your makeup, you don't like challenges, you like sticking to your everyday looks, this would be an ideal palette for you. And in this palette you have 12 shadows, 4 of them mattes, 8 of them shimmers, and they're just absolutely stunning and definitely worth investing into if you're beginning. The second palette I have to show you is the Nubian 2 palette. This is actually the first palette that I purchased from the brand um, in this. There are 12 shades and look how huge they are like it's gonna take a long time to ever hit pan on these when I purchased this I honestly got it for this color right here Egypt in the color Cleopatra they are stunning shimmers but overall there's four mattes in this and um, eight shimmers and when I look at this palette I just think fall like this is the perfect palette to pull out the second the leaves start changing if you're going for those orange toned um, kind of cranberry tone looks this is perfect I've created some beautiful looks and I know it might not look like the most cohesive palette when you first look at it but I can automatically think of some looks like this top row would be a perfect everyday go-to staple colors up there this um, burgundy tone or th this row right here fall and you can definitely use these browns and just for like the lid use this shimmer right here which I love to use as an inner corner highlight there's just a lot of different looks you can create with this so if you want a challenge want something to use every day this would definitely be a great investment right here is the Saharan palette um, what's funny about this is I know when you look at it it is not the most cohesive looking palette when I first got this palette, I looked at it and I was like, oh, why did I get this? Like, I probably can't even create a look with this. It's so not cohesive. But y'all, I have created some beautiful looks, some risky, challenging, different looks. You just have to look at it. And now that I've had it for a while, like, I look at it and I just, in my head, like, oh, 
I, I know what look I'm gonna create with this. Again, you have four mattes, eight shimmers, total of 12 shadows in this. If you like a challenge, you wanna do some a little more um, shimmery, grungy looks, this would be the perfect palette for you because you have this beautiful black tone right here, which is so deep, but perfect black. You have these grungy like green tones. These pinks are gorgeous. You have this true gold shade up here. It kinda reminds me of that um, Fenty Beauty Kilowatt, the first one that came out trophy wise, reminds me of that. But yeah, this is a beautiful palette. I know it looks intimidating, but if you're willing to take a risk and get creative with your makeup, this would be worth investing into. This was on my wish list for the longest time. This is the Magic Mini palette. And if you know me, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know Halloween is my go-to time when I shine the brightest. I love making Halloween tutorials and Guys, tell me this is not the most beautiful rainbow palette. So I wanted this because I love using rainbow palettes for Halloween time and getting creative with makeup. I like taking those challenges. Uh, and this might be the Juvia's Place palette you want to invest to. It has some beautiful tones in here. There's six mattes and ten shimmers in this palette. A total of 16 shades. I mean, it's stunning. Only thing I will say about this palette is like the only transition shade you get in here is this so i would say this palette you'd probably have to honestly pair with another palette like maybe for a deep brown or just something because most of these are shimmers and they're the be most beautiful lid shade but you might want to pair it with another palette otherwise other than that like this palette is beautiful i love it i'll try to insert a clip of like my school tutorial I did i did like an icy blue look using this and i believe um this color right here and it came out stunning i got so many questions but yeah, I highly recommend this palette if you want to something that you can get creative and rainbow looks out of. So I decided to save the best for my collection for last. This is the Masquerade palette. Um, definitely, if I had to do like a top five favorite palettes ever, this would be in it. I think this one you're getting the most bang for your buck. Like, you're getting the most, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, versatility out of all the money you're investing into it. Just look at this, guys. And this, what is it? You're getting four mattes and then you're getting 12 shimmers. But let me tell you what's amazing about this and why I love it so much. So this bottom row, as you can see, is neutral and warm tones. So if you're going for an everyday look, fall tone vibes, like you have that right here. Something you can go to every single day if you wanted to. If you just wanted to put a brown over your lid, you have that option. If you need a nice, beautiful champagne shimmer for your lid, you have that right here. Just an inner tear duct highlight right there but then let's say you want to get creative and challenge yourself you also have these pops of colors up here um, all of them are shimmers but actually I lied you have five mattes and then 11 shimmers this one this purple right here is a matte but you have these beautiful sh um, shades up here to create creative looks and different looks and challenge yourself if you want to so it's always good to have that option I think you're getting so like just uh, such a bang for your buck with this product I think if you have the money worth investing into definitely get the masquerade palette it's my favorite I will always say it when people ask me what I recommend this is the go-to so there you go so those are all my Juvia's Place palettes. I hope this video kind of helped you decide maybe what palette you want to invest in. If you have any questions, definitely make sure to ask them down below. I will make sure to answer. Follow me on my Instagram account. I like posting my video, um, my makeup looks on there. And I also have a makeup account. I'll make sure to link that down below too. But I love Juvia's Place. I definitely think they're a brand worth investing into if you're trying to build your collection. Each of these palettes add value to your collection. You're never going to just like feel bad about purchasing it, I feel. Um, yeah, so I d if you do end up purchasing a Juvia's Place palette after this video, let me know which one you end up purchasing. And if you end up creating looks, make sure to send them my way. But yeah, I hope you guys all have a happy new year. Again, please make sure to subscribe because I have so many videos planned for this year. And I will catch you guys in the next video.